It's been a while since we've seen anything from Elementary OS, a little over a year now, but Elementary OS 7 has been officially released. We're going to be going through what's new, checking things out like the resource usage, and exploring the desktop. Let's get into things, and here I have Elementary 7 installed on my desktop. We're greeted by a wonderful mountain scenery for the wallpaper, and we're going straight for the App Center, where we'll notice a lot of changes, including how they present applications or packages to us. If you click on an application now, what you'll notice is an improvement to the design of how the application is shown to you. What they focused on is these slides here, which now they made scrollable using gestures as well as mouse support. But basically they wanted to make sure that the developer's project was noticed right off the bat and they could present it, making the primary focus any screenshots that the developer may have. You'll definitely notice this throughout. And another thing that they've added is a few icons that allow you to know right up top whether a package is outdated, basically just hasn't been updated in a while, or you could have other icons by here, including one that's an exclamation point, which lets you know that you're about to download something from an unverified developer. This used to be a completely separate dialog box. Whenever you clicked on the download feature, it basically say, hey, you're about to download something that hasn't quite yet been approved. Are you sure you want to do this? Now they're just going to make an icon for that. Another big deal is that they made this more mobile friendly. As you can see, you have a more responsive app store, and this is the case for many other apps. You can tell that this is mobile friendly. So basically you get to use this on smaller displays if you want to, which is a great thing that a lot of operating systems should start taking note of. Now, as a lot of us are aware, elementary OS boasts itself as an alternative to Windows as well as Mac OS. For me, I do enjoy the Mac OS look and feel and the attention to detail, including in their apps. Down below, you'll notice that they have a similar docking system as to what you'd find in Mac. And if we go through, we have multitasking view, basically allows you to switch through workspaces, files, which just gets you into their default file manager. Nothing really new here. And with their latest setup of the browser, building on top of GNOME 43, we now have the wonderful option if you go into settings and go down to install site as web application, you can create an application on the system that looks very much native to any other app. How wonderful is that? So that means in applications, you have DuckDuckGo now, which you can launch directly. That way you don't have to spend time searching for specific apps. You could use this across the board with just about anything on the web. It just basically containerizes and links it directly from your desktop for you. You can also add it to the bottom dock in case you like to use that application all the time. It's an absolutely great thing. I love that they added this in. Definitely a game changer on Linux. Make sure to check that out with GNOME 43's browser if you want it on a different Linux system. Anyways, we have mail, their tasks list, calendar, music, which they have overhauled since people were saying they were having trouble using it in the past. They've fixed a lot of bugs here and actually redesigned the whole thing. Make sure to give it a try if you've had issues in the past using elementary OS's music app. They have videos as well, photos. You can get into system settings. Everything's about the same there. And finally, the App Center, which we already checked out. And this has definitely been redesigned. So if you're a fellow elementary OS user, make sure to try and upgrade so you get the benefits of the redesigned App Store. Moving on to applications. You have your standard applications besides DuckDuckGo, which I just added in, including a new feedback feature, which allows you to give feedback on components that are part of elementary OS. Now, elementary OS focuses very heavily on making a seamless and stable app environment, and they heavily focus on not overcomplicating their apps and making sure that they run seamlessly without crash and without problem. So if you do have an issue, make sure to let them know. One of my favorite coding editors is elementary OS code. And again, focusing on simplicity, you can create a new file and start programming right away. It's a very fluid and it gives you a great coding environment. There's not too much more in here. In the middle, you still have your calendar with any type of events that you may have for the day. On the right hand side, you have access to volume control, including the music that you're currently playing, turning on and off your wireless or wired connection, including network settings, any notifications that you're getting from the system. For example, I made a web application called DuckDuckGo and it's ready to be used. You can clear all notifications and move to the right side where there's a very simple place to lock, log out, suspend or shut down your machine, including edit your user account settings. Now, one thing I've always thought is that the searches 
a little lacking. So if I search for something like background, I would expect some information to come up about the background settings and not necessarily the app center. So instead I'm just going to search for wallpaper and this time it did come out with wallpaper. Some of these names could probably be associated a little bit better, but regardless of that, I want to check out appearance where we can now get the sunset to sunrise setting that allows you to basically go from light to dark and you can even specify what time to what time if need be. You can also disable the schedule and just keep it in a specific mode all the time. For example, if we went to the dark theme, we'd have our schedule disabled or if we went back to sunset to sunrise, depending on the time of day, your desktop environment color theme would change. It's something to check out for those of you who really like that type of setting, but overall not too much new here. They did redesign their mail app and in the app center, make sure to go through and set the automatic app updates feature. That way you can automatically get your apps updated as new fixes and security vulnerabilities are patched. Finally, let's talk about research usage here in elementary OS using HTOP, which is pretty hard to see here, but regardless, the CPU is fluctuating anywhere between zero and 4%. Currently it's using 1.1 gigs out of eight gigs of memory to run the system. There's 124 tasks, 310 threads, the load average and the uptime is around five minutes. So this is pretty much a freshly started up machine. Finally, let's check out NeoFetch to see system information. This is elementary OS seven horse. It's using kernel 5.15 generic. There are 1,632 source packages and 11 flat packs installed. The desktop environment is called Pantheon and the window manager is Mutter. The theme is from elementary blueberry and icons are elementary styled GTK three. Terminal is the elementary terminal, and this is being emulated on an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X series. And currently we're still using 1.1 gigs out of eight gigs of memory. Well, that's about it. If you want a simple environment that has a stable build and heavily focuses on their own apps in order to make things seamless and run in stable condition, then elementary OS might be right for you. If you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in Linux and applications, I don't know that elementary OS serves a great purpose for that. It seems like as of late that the updates are far and few in between. Hopefully we'll experience more updates this year from elementary OS. I definitely like it as a Mac OS alternative. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.